What do you say there, everybody? Geo Setti coming right back at you on a Tuesday afternoon, one week before Christmas Day. All right, so what do we got going on? By the way, I hope everybody is doing okay. Nothing's more important, right? So our Los Angeles Rams are about to face the Arizona Cardinals, right? Week 16, just another game, an important game, a division game. We're facing the Cardinals. I'm sure all of you are aware we've already taken business against them. We're unbeaten in our division. We're NFC West division champs. When we played the Cardinals, if I can remember correctly, uh, score was 34 nothing. We shut them out. I don't think the Cardinals had, I don't know, a handful of first downs. They got over the 50-yard line once. Rams played their game. Both defensive and offensive lines played well. The kicking game was fueled. Goff had a, a wonderful day. But you know what? That was, I think, week two. Now we're playing them again. Week 16, division game. Yes, are we expecting them to win? Absolutely. But keep in mind, nothing's more important than that W this week. So if we don't go out and beat them 34, 38, nothing again, it's okay. All right? Don't you start panicking. Would it be nice? Absolutely. Do the Rams have the capability of doing just that again? Absolutely. There's no doubt. But if we win the game 20 to 10 or whatever, it's a W. Go to 12 wins. Puts us in a position to get to 13 wins. And the inevitable buy. Okay? Now all this talk, you know, keep in mind about the media. And every, you know, the men and women on TV, the, the people that write. Just because that's what they do for a living. <laughs> They just need something to write about. It doesn't mean they know more than we do. I know they don't know more than I do. I say that not with conceit. I say that with confidence because I kind of keep a track and I intimately know what's going on, all right? So the Rams rolling all year, get to 11-1. and one. They lose the last two games. So what do they want to do? They need something to write about. Oh, what's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? It drives me crazy. You know what? Are they entitled to write about that? Absolutely. Do they write as much about the Steelers when they lose three straight? Or the fact that the Saints have uh, been held the less than uh, 13, point, 13 points twice in the last two games? Or the fact that the Patriots recently lost a couple of games? I'm sure they, they, they put some, a negative spin out there, but you know what? We feel it more. But you have to just disengage from listening to that crap. I mean, just the other day, Colin Coward, he was throwing uh, Brandon Cooks under the bus. Brandon Cooks? The guy's as consistent as you'll find. He's at about 1,200 yards right now. Um, he's averaging close to 16 yards a catch, yet he wants to diss him. Oh, where's Brandon Cooks been? Then they start talking about the coaching or the offensive or defensive line play. And most of all, they start ripping into Jared Goff. Jared Goff, <laughs> guys, you don't know how blessed we are to have such a, uh, a good guy and an extremely talented field general. That, as long as there's no injury, he's going to be with us 12, 13, 15 years, all right? He's in his third season. He's having a fabulous year. He's got a shot for 5,000 yards. All right? Don't look at the last couple games. Oh, what's wrong with Goff? There's nothing wrong with Goff. Let me ask you something. How many of you guys have ever played competitively? You know what it's like to have a, a 300-pound guy's hand in your face? You know what it's like to have your foot stepped on when you're dropping back in the pocket? It's a team game, guys. No matter who you are, whether you're Jared Goff, John Elway, Brett Favre, Dan Marino, Johnny Unitas, uh, Aikman, 
The list goes on and on and on. Aaron Rodgers, look how good Aaron Rodgers is. But when he's got pressure, what does he turn into? Yeah, he improvises a little. We all do. Goff has made some amazing plays while under pressure this year. All right? But no quarterback, even if Jesus Christ was quarterbacking, no quarterback's going to be as efficient than he would be if the team was executing their plays properly. Okay? Receivers running good routes, creating quality separation, offensive linemen offering protection, running backs doing their job, tight ends doing their job. It's a team game. So, yeah. You don't have to be Einstein to figure out the last couple of weeks, the Rams, they've made many self-inflicted mistakes. They haven't gotten a bounce of the ball. And to some degree, because it's the NFL, they were outplayed or outmuscled. But that can happen to any team at any time. You know what? That's why we've taken the field 14 times. We've won 11 and we've lost three. Sometimes the breaks go your way, sometimes they don't. What you, do, what you can control is you could eliminate the individual self-inflicted mistakes. Like fumbling an obvious, easy uh, punt return. Uh, you can't do that. <laughs> uh, then there are circumstances beyond your control. Blindside hits. You know, missing a first down by inches. It happens. There's no panic here. There's no panic anywhere. Just feel thankful. And I'm telling you the truth. It bothers me when I hear these the, the guys in the media speak in any way negatively about Goth. Uh, and then they sugarcoat other guys. But you know something? They need something to write about. All right? I'm not worried about that crap. All right? When I get to the playoffs healthy, then it'll be our stage. And if we execute, with coming from the brilliance that is uh, McVeigh and his coaching staff, if we protect the football and execute, not only are we going to win the first game in L.A. after the bye, and we will get a bye, you know that. It's not likely we're going to get the one seed, but if we're the two seed, who's better than us? <laughs> 13-3 and three to two seed, home after a bye, two weeks to prepare. Then if, I, if we need be, we go to New Orleans, we go to Dallas, we go to Chicago, wherever. And we just play our game in the trenches. We protect the football. We've got Greg the leg kicking super effectively. There's no worries here. I'm feeling the Super Bowl. Okay? And I'm, I'm going to continue to feel the Super Bowl. And you know what? We can't do anything about the idiots in the media who want to start talking crap. I'm not going to use profanity. Let's just say they're talking crap. No, it's not my style. I never use profanity. You know that. But we as fans, there should be, shouldn't be any nonsense. We have to be loyal to the bone. Okay? Constantly support constantly encourage back your team and know that we'll be in a position to get where we need to be and you know what the only thing that's on our mind this year is Super Bowl 53 so it doesn't matter to me that we've lost a few games right can't win them all <laughs> it's the NFL you know it isn't that the truth how many years do we see an inferior team knock off the more complete team in the playoffs? It happens all the time. Even the great panic, Peyton Manning was uh, one and done a couple times. You have to be in the number one seed. I don't see that happening to us. So we have to tighten some screws. And as fans, we need to support them in their efforts. But you know what? Any of this crap out there saying... Ooh, the Rams have regressed. The Rams aren't ready. You know what? <laughs> I just love it. It's just create more of an opportunity to prove people wrong. Okay? So, without further ado, enjoy the rest of your Tuesday. Have a great week. Remember, 
whether the Rams win again against the Cardinals 34-0, or if it's 17-14. Just feel good about the W. All right? That's all that's important. Even though I think we're going to, we should win rather comfortably. At least that's what I'm expecting. But for some reason, it doesn't work out entirely as planned. Just relax. Relax. The great ones never panic. All right, I got to get going. I'm going to give you a quick, rather enthusiastic let's go. Let's go! We stick together. Prime for a great playoff run. Don't believe the trash you see on TV or what those others want to write about, okay? God bless you. God bless America. Take care. And if you have some, brush your hair. Talk to you soon.